Hey guys, welcome to the video. I am Surya. In this new video, we are going to explore the top 5 features of iPad OS 18 as a student review. The very first feature is customizable control center. Here you can see I have changed everything which is really needed for me to access in the control center. You can change whatever you want in your control center by simply clicking the plus icon at the top. You can add the control by simply clicking the add a control at the bottom. You can see the varying things which can be added in the control center. Here is a bonus tip. In the top right corner you can see the power button. If you long press this power icon then it will take you to the page of the shutdown button or the shutdown area. And the second feature which is really requested feature which is the calculator app in the iPad. But the real game changer, it is not only a calculator app, it is a calculating notes which is known as the maths notes. In this case, if you are type something, for an example, I am typing 20 into 20. If I put equal sign, the answer will be there, 400. For doing sum, I can also do that 400, 600, 700. Then it will give the final answer as a 1700. It is not only there in the calculator app, it is also can be used in the notes application too. Then we are going to export the third feature which is really needed for the privacy peoples. Here for an example if I am long press an app, it has the additional features like require touch id. If I am clicking that, it will give the two options require only touch id or hide and require touch id. If the first feature I was clicking, it is simply asking the touch ID whenever I am opening this app in the home screen. If I am clicking the second one, then the app will go to the hidden area, then also require the password to open the hidden folder. For an example, I am just clicking the require touch ID. Now if I am trying to open this app, this app really needs my touch ID to open the app and this is the best feature ever. Then the fourth feature is the Reminder and calendar app sync. For an example, left side I have reminder, right side I have calendar. If I add something in the reminder, for an example, meeting of one, then it will reflect the same thing in the calendar app too. If I add something in a particular time of the calendar, like the meeting, meeting two, it is also reflects in the reminder app. These things I was using by making the things in the Google Calendar and Google Task. Now these function can be done by Apple's reminder and calendar. Then the next feature is a very best feature for the note taking people. Here something different in these notes. Here you can see I can easily change the color of the text which is in a particular area. If I would like to do the same thing in again. So I am simply writing the same thing. Then. I'm just clicking the iPad then here you can see the alphabets in this case I can able to change whichever I really need these all are the top five features of iPad OS which is really appreciable and really lovable by the students I hope this video was useful for you we'll meet in our next video thank you guys